countries in the world today, from small town beginnings to a life of fame and fortune. Her songs sell millions of copies around the world. Her concert tours are a sellout. So what next for the girl who seems to have everything? Why not make a documentary about yourself? Madonna did just that, and she's just released the result, result called In Bed with Madonna. People think that being a star is about being fabulous, being in the spotlight, having your picture taken all the time and having everyone worship and adore you. Being rich, 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 having it all. And you know what? They're absolutely right. Madonna wanted fame and fortune. She got both. Yes, well, I'm the boss. When you're as big as she is, most stars are desperate to keep their private lives private, but not Madonna. She's just spent two million pounds on her own home movie, a frame-by-frame -frame diary of last year's Blonde Ambition tour. Watching the um, footage from the very beginning was really educational for me about my own, you know, psychosis, whatever, you know, my mo own mental, emotional state, my own needs. Great. Take a breath. Good. This is crazy. Caught by the lens was Madonna's ex-boyfriend, Warren Beatty. The insanity of doing this all on a documentary. It, 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 well, this is a serious matter, your throat, yes? Why should I stop here? But does anyone say it? Who's anyone? Well, anyone that comes into this insane atmosphere. You realize they all feel it when they come into this atmosphere. I mean, when they come into your dressing room, when they come wherever you are, they feel crazy. Now, do they talk about it? No, they accept it. Well, why don't they talk about it? Because. Well, you want to think about that, don't you? No, I don't. Let's get back to me. Warren Beatty's comment is really in many ways directed to me. The film's director, Alec Kashishian. Given up privacy to a 25 year old kid who was following her into her apartment, into her dressing room, into underneath the stage, everywhere, and shooting her. And I think Warren was amazed, disturbed, but in, a, in his own way, I think sort of, you know, thrilled by it. <laughs> She doesn't want to live off camera, much less that's talk. A, a <laughs> There's nothing to say off camera. Why would you say something if it's off camera? What, what point is there of existing? I don't know if Warren would, would ever see it. And if he did, I don't know if he would ever tell me what he thought. So. Today, she's Madonna the Demure. Not long ago, she was Madonna the Demon. Like a prayer upset the Vatican, there was even talk of Madonna being excommunicated. But the girl who says she once wanted to be a nun is unrepentant. If people are frightened by what I do or what I say or what I stand for, it's because they're frightened about what I, what the feelings they have inside. I mean, I'm not saying you have to like me or agree with me, but if you're afraid of me, then you're afraid of what I make you feel. Dear Lord, it seems like every time I'm standing in this circle before the show, I'm asking you for something extra special. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here again, and they say, ask and you shall receive. Mm -hmm. So I'm begging you to give me a voice to sing with this evening. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Have a great show. Yeah, okay. Come and say, celebration, come together in every nation. The Cannes Film Festival, when the Hollywood publicity machine descends on the south of France. There were some other well-known faces at the screening of Madonna's film. Then there was Madonna. 
Madonna is the story tonight, the big story. The queen of pop in the palace of dreams. It was a, a real thrill. It was great. I felt like I was going to be crowned or something. Did I always want to be a star? I don't know if it's a, a star that I wanted to be. I suppose when I was a child, I wanted to be loved, recognized, appreciated, you know, those, those kind of things. I probably just needed more love and recognition than most people. She's an artist in the truest and oldest sense of the world, word, where, where in the life she leads off stage, is not different in its convictions than the life she leads on stage. One is an extension of the other. So now we have Madonna in a shower cap. I mean, Dad, I'd love it if you'd come to both shows. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's pretty racy in some sections. I don't know if you could take it two nights in a row. Oh, you had to get racy on me. Dad, I'm not getting racy. I've been racy. I know, but can't you tone it down a bit? What, for you? Yeah. No, because that would be compromising my artistic integrity. Well, of course. You, you undress in this performance? No. Oh, God. Of course I don't. Okay. Well, whatever you guys can get us tickets for... Dad, I can get you tickets any night you want to come. Okay. Okay. This is my but are we getting the real thing or just another Madonna stage show? Whether it's the truth or not, it's still revealing. You still, it's still educational. You still get something out of it. So to me, it's not important whether every moment was absolutely real and spontaneous, or there were planned moments in it. Her film has been called everything from candid to voyeuristic. The New York Post called her a shameless hussy. I wanted to to capture life on the road, so it was no holds barred. You know, that's it. She wasn't afraid of this movie because she's always been remarkably candid about what her beliefs are and essentially, regardless of whether or not the press chooses to just focus on, on the, the titillating moments and parts of it or not, I think there's an overall picture that comes through which is that Madonna has certain convictions in her life that are carried over from stage to real life and vice versa. Freddie Garbo, Anne Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, on the cover of a magazine. Once Madonna chose to be a star, she fought her way to the top with ruthless ambition. Today, she earns an estimated 20 million pounds a year, but it doesn't come easy. It's a lot of hard work. I mean, if, if I want to live this life, I mean, I, it's difficult for me to travel around without being recognized. And it, it, as you can see, to, to put a show on like I did on my last tour, to have everything be right, the, the bigger you want to do things, the more and the more of a perfectionist you are, that you have to work 24 hours a day. It's, it's very difficult. I'm so desperate. For what, honey? For some fun. Well, it's all fun work. Right now. Well, this is fun to me. Well, Look, then, I mean, all I do is hang out with everybody in the show after a while. It gets boring. Who do you want to meet next? <sighs> Who do I want to meet next? Who would really blow you away? I think I met everybody. <laughs> Her marriage to Sean Penn cracked under the strain of life at the top. Madonna says she yearns for children. Meanwhile, she likes to see herself as the mother of the Madonna Roadshow. I think I was mostly surprised by how uh, maternal I was with everybody, because I, I never think of myself that way. You know, all the other stuff I knew, I know I'm very demanding and very much running the show and the boss and all, and, you know, in charge, I knew all that stuff, but uh, that part was a surprise. <laughs> this is not an idealized maternal thing that I'm trying to show. It's to show a, a, almost a postmodern mother, you know, to a bunch of, of wayward kids. Um, she's a mother. She's also almost like Auntie Mame. I mean, she's more fantastic than any mother could ever be. Just when you get used to one Madonna, 
she invents another. My chapters in my life don't begin with the color of my hair, per se. Um, I suppose it's really a new chapter in my life because now I'm finally finished with the movie. You've got to make him expect himself. Hey, 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 hey. This is kind of my farewell to it, so now in that sense, it's a new chapter. Why you smell? Did I hurt you? Good. Madonna, what will she do next? Will she film it? And do we care? Of course we do. In Bed With Madonna is now showing in the UK. And an extra bonus for Sky viewers, it will also be shown on Sky Movies later this year. We'll take a short break there. Coming up on Newsline, the dog's life.